children uh, this is a literature class for class 10 ab and uh, we shall continue act number four scene one and it's line number 172 so in the previous class we have completed up to line number 171 and uh, we have completed on a note on the entrance of Portia into the court of justice the scene is taking place in the court of justice in fact the entire scene of uh, act number four takes place in the court of justice in Venice where Antonio has been accused of uh, breaking the uh, bond that he had signed to Psylocke and as a punishment Psylocke has been demanding uh, forfeiture which is a pound of flesh. The characters present are almost the entire major uh, characters are present along with some minor characters like Nerissa who is a clerk but here she plays a very important role. So now Persia has entered into uh, the court of justice and she is being uh, welcomed by the duke. And uh, the duke says, give me your hand. Come here from old Bellario. So Bellario had been invited but since he was asked by Persia not to come and uh, on the recommendation of Persia, Bellario writes a letter and sends that letter along with uh, Persia who comes in the court of justice in the disguise of Dr. Balthazar and along with uh, her she uh, brings uh, Nerissa as her clerk in the disguise of a clerk, male clerk. So Persia says response to Duke, I did my lord, yes I have come from uh, uh, Dr. Bellario, she is Dr. Balthazar from Pedua, a place called Pedua. Duke, you are welcome, take your place. Are you acquainted with the difference that holds this present position in the court? Which means, Duke will come first and he asked, Do you know, are you acquainted means have you been informed about the reason for which there is the difference between these two persons here in the court? Between those two persons means between Antonio and Silak. Or she says, I am informed thoroughly means in detail. I have been informed in detail of the cause which is the merchant here and which the Jew? Now give me the introduction. Who is the merchant? Antonio and who is the Jew? Silok. Duke says, Antonio and old Silok both stand forth. Stand forth means both of you come in front and give your introduction to Dr. Baldazar. Porcia is your name Silok and Silok is in a very boasting manner. He says, Silok is my name. Porcia of a strange nature is the suit you follow. Your suit means demand. Your demand is very, very strange and really very strange because a living man demanding one pound of flesh from the life, uh, from the body of another living person is quite very strange. Yet in such rule, in such rule means in the, in the rule or in the law of Venice that the Venetian law cannot impugn you as you do proceed. Impugn means find fault with. According to the Venetian law, we do not find any fault in you or with you in this case if you continue demanding. Because why Silak was not at fault was because it was clearly written and signed by Antonio. It was written in the bond clearly mentioned and signed by Antonio. So there is no fault because as a forfeiture Silak had every right to demand this. Now she turns to Antonio after that and she says you stand within his danger. Do you not? means your life is at risk. Do you know this? Antonio says, ah, so he says, so he says means as he is demanding no choice in a very, very uh, low, low spirit, he says. And Porcia says, do you confess the bond? Confess means agree. Do you agree that you know the bond and you know what is written there? Antonio says, I do, I do know. Porcia then, then must the Jew be merciful? then the Jew must be merciful. Why? Because it is only by means of that Jew's mercy that you can survive, you can live. Otherwise, there is no chance of your survival. So Jew must show some mercy, only then you live. But Silo got angry to hear Porcia's remark that the Jew, uh, Silo should be merciful. He is not there to show any mercy, but rather he was there to demand a pound of flesh. So why should he be merciful? So he got angry on the statement of Borsia and he on an angry note he reacts saying on what note, on what compulsion must I, means under what obligation should I be merciful? Why should I be merciful? Why should I uh, mer so mercy? Tell me that. 
and then after that Porsia tells in detail why Psylocke should be merciful. Now this is the first speech of Porsia and in the court of justice and she tries to convince that Psylocke should be merciful, Psylocke should forgive Antonio and uh, deface the bond, cancel the bond. Psy uh, Porsia says, now this is important listen, the quality of mercy is not strained, strained means forced, the quality of mercy cannot be forced. It droppeth as a gentle rain from heaven. Just like the rain automatically drops from heaven, so should mercy automatically arise, should arise in one's heart. Nobody can be forced to show mercy. Upon the place beneath, the rain falls from the sky when it is the time for it. In a similar manner, one person should show mercy on another when the time arises or when the such situation demands. So mercy cannot be forced. It is twice blessed. It bless it blesseth him that gives and him that takes. So mercy blesses both the person who gives or shows mercy and also the one who receives mercy. In this case, if Silox shows any mercy to Antonio, uh, both will be blessed. Silox for showing and Antonio for receiving. Both will be blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. It is mightiest in the mightiest. Mightiest in the mightiest. The first mightiest is adjective, second mightiest is noun. It is mightiest means it is the most powerful quality, first mightiest. Second mightiest means the earthly power, the most powerful king. So the most powerful quality of the most powerful king is mercy. It is the mightiest of in the mightiest. It becomes the throne monarch better than his crown. The crown of the king gives him power. Okay, he is... He is respected, but if that monarch has mercy in his spirit, he is liked more than that uh, a king who is powerful because of the monarch. His scripture shows the force of temporal power. The king is powerful because he is captured is that uh, sword. He carries the sword and it is a power, uh, it is a symbol of authority and the power. Everybody is scared of the king. Why? Because he has the sword in his hand. Okay, but a king who has mercy or who is merciful is more loved and feared than any king who is able to create love for him in the heart of the citizen because of that scripture. So his scripture shows the force of temporal power. Temporal power means uh, earthly power, temporary power, because that sword can be can can be separated. But the mercy cannot be separated from the king. If our king is merciful, that quality of mercy cannot be separated. But if a king is powerful because of the scripture, his power can be separated. That power can be snatched. The sword can be snatched. The attribute to away and uh, majesty. That away means the grand, grandeur and majesty. Majesty is a, majesty is a great quality. Okay. Wherein doth sit the dread and fear of the kings. And because of uh, this scripture, it helps the king create fear for him in the heart of the citizen. But mercy is above the scripture so sweet. Means mercy is more powerful than the uh, sword. Uh, we were here in this line. But mercy is above this scripture sway means mercy is more powerful than that, that temporary power of the king, which is the scripture. It is enthroned in the hearts of the king. Enthroned means deep-seated. Mercy is deep-seated in one's heart, cannot be separated. A man who is more merciful is loved more than any other man who is powerful or who is loved because of the fear, like king. It is an attribute to God himself. Attribute means quality. Being merciful is the quality of God himself. And God loves those people who show mercy. An earthly power though then so like gods when mercy season justice. Mercy season justice means <clears throat> whenever there is a justice to be offered or to be given, if it is backed by the mercy, if a justice is given along with the mercy or in the background of the mercy, then it looks as if the decision has come right from heaven, right from God. Therefore, due Though justice be thy plea, thy plea means your demand, justice you are demanding, consider this, try to understand this. 
that in the course of justice none of us should see salvation 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 means saving we cannot be saved in this world without showing mercy without being merciful we do pray for mercy and that same prayer that teaches us all to render the deeds of mercy we pray to god and we say please god be merciful show your mercy to us the same prayer teaches us or should teach us that we should also be merciful on the people whoever is in need of our mercy i have spoke thus much to mitigate the justice of the of thy plea i have spoke i have spoken in this manner in order to mitigate means lessen to soften to make you soft on your demand whatever you have been demanding porcia says to silo i have spoken in this manner in order to make you soft in order to make your demand soft because whatever you have been demanding is very hard and very rigid and very cruel i have spoken in order to make you soft which if thou follow which means your demand if you follow means insist on your demand the this strict court of justice must needs give sentence against the merchant here then then she says to sailor if you continue demanding your mercy in this manner itself then this strict court of justice we will be compelled to give justice against this merchant antonio we will give justice against this merchant antonio and this was quite welcome to uh, uh, this was quite welcome to uh, sailor sailor of course would become very very happy with this Yes. Dear children, we have uh, come to the end of this speech of uh, Porcia. We shall stop here in this video clip. In the next video clip, we shall uh, continue to see what happens in the court of justice. So, till then, wait, understand, and wait for the another video to come.